The 2026 Formula One power unit revolution is not just changing engines, it is also completely transforming braking systems, and that is why teams are heading in very different technical directions. The new power units trigger a chain reaction across the entire car, and braking is one of the areas most affected. With a much more powerful electric motor, braking is now shared more heavily between the hybrid system and the traditional hydraulic brakes, all managed through brake by wire. As a result, the hydraulic brakes work less during deceleration, which significantly reduces heat generation and operating temperatures for discs and calipers. However, how much the brakes are stressed depends heavily on each team's energy management strategy. Some teams will prioritize recharging the battery under braking, while others will focus more on energy recovery on the straights. This creates major differences in rear braking loads and forces teams to design systems that can both cope with emergency braking alone and still work efficiently at lower temperatures. Because of this, braking system design is now closely linked to the chosen power unit concept. While front braking remains relatively conventional, rear braking solutions vary widely depending on how each power unit handles energy recovery. This diversity reflects the different priorities teams have adopted, making it difficult to predict which approach will prove most competitive. The regulations also introduce new technical freedoms, including larger and thicker brake discs, more ventilation options, and calipers with up to eight pistons. These changes offer clear performance potential, but most teams are unlikely to fully exploit them due to an intense focus on saving weight. In 2026, performance will not depend only on engines and aerodynamics. Braking systems will be just as decisive. For more news and updates about F1 and Ferrari, follow us on scuderiafans.com.